Idlib now is uh, on the verge of, uh, is going to sink into the nightmare, just as eastern Ghouta, just as uh, northern Hamas, just as uh, uh, Dara. It is now Idlib's turn. It is a region crowded with more than uh, th- uh, three million people that will experience this endless cycle of uh, violence. Uh, regarding the uh, the blast uh, yesterday, we don't know yet what is the origin. It is supposed to be a weapon storage room that exploded. Uh, we don't know if it's an, an Syrian airstrike or wrong manipulation by rebels. Uh, the thing is that civilians are now hostage of this uh, cycle of uh, violence. And on top of that, Syria Charity and other NGOs are just helpless regarding this situation. We are crying for help. And on top of that, due to a foolish... Uh, uh, a financial speculation. It is now impossible for NGOs from France to transfer money to Syria through Turkey because of uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the financial problem between France and Turkey. Banks are stopping money transfer. It is a complete desperate situation. It is now a crime, unfortunately, to help Syrians. It is impossible to help Syrians. And uh, Mohammed, yeah, you're talking about how difficult it is, but is there anything uh, at all that can be done or is being done to at least alleviate um, or help the civilian population that are caught in between? We have, uh, of course, we can, we can through NGOs, we can try to help. But the thing is, we have already, uh, we have already tried to do that in eastern Ghouta, in uh, uh, northern Hamas, in uh, Dara, in all other regions and the, uh, uh, the, 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 the conclusion was the same. Civilians were forced to leave their home, their villages, their cities, and they are now all in one region uh, in Idlib. It is crowded with, with civilians, and they are going to pay uh, uh, the price for this endless cycle of violence. I'm, 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 okay. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm a little desperate now.